Hi, my name is Kiran Beer Sethi, and uh, I'm the founder of Design for Change. Uh, but actually, I would probably like to say that Design for Change founded me uh, simply because the story of uh, I can, what Design for Change has been able to shape, started with really an I can't. And it was a very personal story of my own son's experience with education that probably shaped the whole uh, journey forward. Taking my son out of school is probably the <laughs> greatest and, and um, I think the most significant uh, decision that I took and subsequently from that space emerged the school that I founded in 2001 called Riverside which essentially went back to the user and I think in education I have seen more or less that the child is often incidental to his program of education and I think what design thinking does more than anything else is put the user back right at the center of uh, the learning journey. So Riverside actually became an outcome of that. Uh, from Riverside, uh, seeing what uh, design thinking and using the design thinking principles was actually doing for the community at Riverside, we said, ah, it has to go beyond. So in 2009, we took design thinking and really demystified it into four simple steps. Feel, which is empathy, starting with what bothers me. Imagine taking the current scenario to a more preferred scenario, that's imagine. Do creative agency, actioning uh, what would be the best case scenario of change, and then sharing. Sharing these stories of change so that everybody anywhere in the world can be able to say, oh, I can do that too. So I guess uh, Design for Change is, I think, greatest contribution uh, to education has been this act of listening to its child. So far, I think children have been told to listen to the adult and Design for Change flipped that on its head and said, no, I think you're amazing. I think your competencies are fabulous and we will listen to you. After this project and after what DFC is doing, now we realize like we're no longer the future of the country. We are the now because we are here. We can make a change now. Yeah. The Fitz process, not only look at the external um, sort of uh, manifestation of how you can use the framework to affect change in a community or a school, but also at a very, very deeply internal level. A wonderful example of how Design for Change um, and the Feel, Imagine, Do, Share or the FITS process impacts on an individual level is a case study of Shorya Rastogi. So, I was in my 11th standard in school when we heard about this Design for Change. This entire process of design for change has made me grow from the inside. It has transformed me. It's at that point of time that I realized that life is much larger than my one streamlined goal of going to IIT. So here I am today. I am a product design student at Srishti. This shift within myself from saying, can I to Yes, I can. It's so huge that I want to apply this to every stage of my life. What the Feel, Imagine, Do, Shed did for a lot of the children, but Shorya specifically, was the recognition that he was not helpless, that change was possible and he could drive it. The second case study of how Design for Change and the FITS process impacts at a slightly more um, systemic level is this wonderful case study of the most amazing teacher I have met, Chitra. She realized it was a way to transform the entire system um, of school education um, in Tamil Nadu. This simple process, feel, imagine, do, share, can make this much change in the children's mind that was wonderful and amazing it has changed my heart and mind i thought why cannot i take this design for change to all schools in tamil nadu how can i give same feeling and experience to all teachers and children in tamil nadu i started imagine how to do that i knew that alone i cannot reach to all schools so i thought of taking help from sarva siksha abhiyan and there I explained everything about this simple steps, four steps and the vibrant situation there and the prize we got and with that they made me as state coordinator for the project based learning and that gave me a lot of confidence and I started up my work. First 
I called and trained all the 32 district coordinators of Tamil Nadu and later on they went to their district and chose 40 schools from their district and I gave them best stories, guidelines, material of design for change. Total 1700 schools participated and to my surprise so many solutions from so many schools have come. So many children came out, went to the community and gave innovative solutions. I also got lots of response from the teachers. To be very frank, I also grow a lot. As a teacher, I had not gone out of my school. But today, I am a state coordinator for all schools in Tamil Nadu. I don't know when and how I became a teacher to a leader. It gave me a confidence, commitment and to take care about my people. For me, this is just the beginning. I want to cover all 36,000 schools in Tamil Nadu and I will do that because I can. Single-handedly, this lady, of course, has transformed that entire landscape. Today, Design for Change is in over a thousand schools in Tamil Nadu. And the third case study is actually to reflect the global power of what this framework in Design for Change has done, Kate. She has again single-handedly started the Design for Change chapter in Taiwan. Uh, what she did with it was just marvelous. What's beautiful and what's organic about DFC is that it could be done in so many different ways. Especially, it has to be contextualized in different countries. I think there is a hope and there is a light in changing, in flipping. Taiwanese education and as you know it's really traditional and it's um, everything's about grades so that's what's exciting for me and the team we are really really happy to see that it has a possibility however slight it is to change Taiwanese education in the four simple steps. Kate's uh, taking of Design for Change to the country emboldened us to the idea that yes, Design for Change truly was a universal idea. It cuts across context and geography and language. That's the beauty of Design for Change. I believe our greatest contribution to education, I think the Design for Change and the Four Steps is a way to tell education that every child needs to believe that they are here to make the world a better place. I can and you can Together we can be the change in the world I can and you